In this tutorial, we're going to look at the process of migrating a database from InfoWorks CS into the new InfoWorks ICM application. This is done by a series of files called migration files. The migration files themselves are produced actually in InfoWorks CS, that being the original source of the data that we're subsequently going to look at and continue to develop in InfoWorks ICM. So, to produce our migration file, we actually need to start by opening the InfoWorks CS admin tool. And here it is in front of us. And here you can see I've already opened my InfoWorks CS database and we have a number of models that exist within the one InfoWorks CS database. To produce the migration file, we go right to the top level where it says Master Database and from there we do a right click and then select export to ICM. It's very important that you click right at the top on the master database. Clicking on an individual group will not show you any export options. So you need to go right to the very top and export to InfoWorks ICM. With that option selected, a dialog will come up and we'll be shown all of the different catchment groups that exist within the master database and you'll see they all have a green tick against them. So by default, every single catchment in the whole database will be exported across to InfoWorks ICM. If that isn't what you actually want to do, then select the green tick at the top where it says Master Database, and then simply place a tick mark against the models that you do wish to export. So in this case, my RTC example, and also the model at the bottom of the list as well. Press OK. Software will prompt you for a location to create this file and these files have an extension CS to ICM. So I'm going to show this as an example migration to ICM as my uh, name of my file. So let's give the file a name, example migrate CS to ICM and save that file. You'll notice the software now goes through and exports those particular items from the group. All we need to do now is switch back to InfoWorks ICM and read in that particular file. So here we are back in InfoWorks ICM. We can now go to our group, which at the moment is completely blank at the top, do a right click, do import, and import our model group, which in this case is going to come from our InfoWorks CS, or it could be InfoWorks SD, and the special migration file that was produced. Select that. Select the file name that we exported it to. You'll notice the software is already prompting with the extension. And press OK. The final choice you have to make is whether when the data comes across, is it coming across with the uh, map extreme type map background layer support, or is it going to come across with the arc objects style support? Choice is entirely yours. It will depend very much on your corporate GIS. Having made that selection, it's now just a case of waiting for the software to go through the import process. What will happen is that each of the uh, groups that were selected will be scanned for all of the data they contain, the network data and all of the event data, and that will then all be imported into InfoWorks ICM. InfoWorks ICM will bring across all of the control parameters, all of the audit trail, in fact all of the details about the runs that were done will be brought through into the new software. And here we can now see over on the left hand side, we have the two groups that we exported, the RTC examples and my second option as well. And within each of those, we can see that the run group details have been maintained. We can see that all our other input data, such as trade wastes, they've all come across as well. And on top of that, all notes and data that were associated with the original models in InfoWorks CS will also be brought across and that information can be seen just by hovering the mouse. I'm not clicking anything, just by hovering the mouse and we can see exactly what has been done, when the data was created, and what has been brought through. So we can see that everything has been created, all the original timestamps are there. Furthermore, all of the data relating to the run parameters is also maintained. So for the simulations that were created, if we drag across the simulations, you'll see that in our simulation dialog, we have all of the information that we have. And in this particular case, this model has RTC. So we can see the RTC has been brought across and um, migrated into the new scenarios that we use to do RTC in InfoWorks ICM. So that process is all done completely automatically by the migration process. So that was an example of migrating databases across from InfoWorks CS into InfoWorks ICM.